All right, this is your fresh long bone. And we'll start off with this joint area here, ball and socket joint, smooth articular cartilage made of hyaline. Synovial fluid would be found in here, joint capsule. In this joint capsule, you can find skeletal muscle that is attached to tendons. Here's your tendon, skeletal muscle. At the end of this long bone is the epiphysis, made up of spongy bone, producing your red marrow. The shaft of the long bone, diaphysis, made up of your compact bone. Inside of the diaphysis is your medullary cavity. In this medullary cavity, you have your adipose, or yellow marrow. Lining the medullary cavity, you have your endosteum, which functions into bone growth and breakdown, osteoclasts and osteoblasts. Around the entire bone, you have your periosteum around the bone. This periosteum, remember, has the function of attaching the, the tendons and ligaments onto the bone. Nutrient foramen comes from the periosteum. You'll see your perforating fibers holding this on. At this end of the bone, you have your epiphyseal line, which is the remnant of the epiphyseal plate. So this is an adult bone here. Again, and this is in the epiphysis. You see the red marrow starting to seep through. Here's another joint here synovial fluid in the joint cavity. And I think that's it.